Tokyo, Kyoto, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe welcomed North Korea's announcement Saturday that it would freeze nuclear and missile tests and shut down its main nuclear test site. I welcome the announcement as a positive action, Ub told reporters, adding there will be no immediate change to his government's policy of exerting pressure on Pyongyang to give up its nuclear and missile programs. I will closely monitor the situation to see if the latest development will lead to complete, verifiable and irreversible abandonment of nuclear and other weapons of mass destruction, Abe said. He said he has already discussed with U.S. President Donald Trump during their summit earlier in the week how their governments and that of South Korea would respond to possible changes in North Korea's political stance. Other members of Abe's cabinet expressed caution. Deputy Prime Minister Taro Aso said it is premature to say North Korea is truly ready to give up its weapons of mass destruction. We have made a series of promises and extended financial support in exchange for North Korea giving up nuclear test sites among other things, but tests continued. Aso, who doubles as finance minister, told reporters in Washington after attending the Group of 20 meeting of finance chiefs and central bankers. Defense Minister Itzanori Onodera, who is also visiting Washington for a meeting with U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis said Pyongyang's decision does not imply complete abandonment of nuclear and ballistic missiles by the North. This is not the time for Japan, the United States and the international community to ease pressure levied on the country, Onodera told reporters. Survivors of the U.S. atomic bombings in World War II expressed mixed feelings about the announcement. Takeshi Yamakawa, a survivor of the 1945 bombing who leads an anti-nuclear civic group in Nagasaki, said Pyongyang's announcement of its decision to halt nuclear tests is not so convincing. What the survivors hope to see is complete abolition of nuclear weapons, Yamakawa said. We can't expect North Korea to give up nuclear weapons unless the United States makes efforts for the reduction of its nuclear arms, Shigamitsu Tanaka, the head of the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Survivors Council, said. We don't know if these will match words, but it is pleasing to know that tension is easing.